Hi folks, this is Brother Jerry Colston, and I'm Brother Danny Sherrill, and I'm Brother Doug Crisp, and this is your Hometown Gospel Hour, and uh, guys, last week we kind of faded out. <laughs> I believe you were the only one faded out. Did you get a sunburn from all that well, light? Well, I'll tell you what, as you know, I'd had that little bug, and uh, I was kind of pale, but I didn't realize I was invisible. <laughs> He's ready to fly away. <laughs> We're sorry about that, but but uh, this this guy over here is our uh, technical man, and he takes full credit for that. Uh, he said it wouldn't happen again, so I take, I take full credit. <laughs> He's the director, producer, um, um, financier, backer, secretary, uh, just about the whole works. Uh, but I think the whole trouble was, and you you guys may agree with me, was we were in front of a white, totally white wall, and uh, we had no color in the, to us. And I was white, like I said. <laughs> you were so white, they couldn't even see the beads of your eyes. <laughs> Somebody I mean. said they couldn't see my, my head at all. It was like I was the headless guy. <laughs> but I guarantee you might not have been able to see him, but you could hear him, couldn't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, let's start off with prayer. Brother Dennis. I'll do it. All right. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much that we can be here today. We thank you for all the technical things that you have created that we can go out into the community over TV. And, and uh, we just ask that you send your Holy Spirit to bless us and bless anyone that watches this program at any time. And our prayer is that one person be saved from this program and give you all the glory and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Well, That's guys, right. we got, we got, I didn't mean to interrupt you there. we got a great show coming up for you. It's being brought to you by Western Sizzling, Rogers Funeral Home, and also Mary Lumber. Lumber. I was we, making sure we got I to get used to, to saying those there, yeah. the new sponsors. Yeah. So, uh, guys, give our sponsors a call. And the guys, this was a tape given to me um, here just a couple of weeks ago. I haven't been able to play it yet. But this is the Grace Baptist Church in South Pittsburgh. All right. right. Brother Ronnie's yeah. choir. Uh, is it the choir? Yes, it's the choir. And All right. it's a really, really good, good tape, and I know you're going to enjoy it. And um, so, folks, we're going to dedicate this out to all the great people at Grace Baptist Church. Right. And it's under the direction of a dear friend of ours, who passed away, Brother Charles Cagle. Oh, it was okay. back when Brother Charles was still alive. Yeah. But, oh, all right. Oh, okay. So we'll good. dedicate this to his family, and yeah, and we love them. We sure do. And Been so, knowing them for forever, just about. <laughs> so here's the Grace Baptist Choir, right here on your hometown gospel hour.
music. <laughs> you know, I like to hear somebody play the piano or play guitar, no matter what kind of music they are playing. But when it comes to music that I really like, it just about has to magnify my Lord <laughs> to, to really be, you know. You know, uh, guys, during the, uh, I guess during the break there, during the music, we've had some discussion on, on some Bible, biblical issues. Yeah. Yeah. And folks, this program, not only do we, we have fun and enjoy playing hometown folks, but we also want to warn you of the second coming of Christ. Amen. He said he was coming back and he never told a lie. And friends, we don't want to see you lost and die and go to hell. That's, right. That's one, I guess, issue, the main issue of this program, if it's saying issue or the main goal, is we want to say something or do something that'll touch your life and make you realize, help you realize that there's a better life to live. And you know, the amazing thing is, is that when you accept Christ and invite Him into your heart, your eternal life starts right then. Yeah. You know, yeah. It, it, it starts right then. And, you know, and that is the most important thing above anything else because Jesus says that if you're not willing to leave your wife, your husband, your children, yeah. and for Him, you're in trouble. That's right. And you know, that's going to be a hard thing to do is to be able to turn... You know, your wife or your children turn against you because you're a Christian. And I believe someday it's going to come down to Christianity and, you know, state and all this and that. You know, church and yeah. state and all that's coming. And, you know, the yeah. end of time is almost here. You know, like I, the midnight cry, the song the midnight cry. I actually know a, a preacher that in his day, his wife got tired of the uh, ministry. And told him flat out, said, you're going to have to make up your mind. Do you want your ministry or me? He said, she had to go. Because, I mean, that was it. He, he couldn't turn his back on God and, and on the calling that he had. And but you, look, you look at the world today and, and look at the world a hundred years ago. Oh, my. You know, and, and you, you see how man's knowledge has increased just in a hundred years. Yeah. I mean, we went from horse and buggy. And before that hundred years, you know, all the way back to Adam, there was no automobiles, no rocket no. ships, no airplanes. And then from the last 150 or 100, yeah, about 150 years or whatever, now we've got, you know, gone to the moon and everything in just that little short of time. And, yeah, man's, you know, the, the Bible says man's knowledge will increase, men's hearts will fail them. Yeah. This world's in trouble. It is. It really is. And the United States is in trouble due to a lot of uh, turning their back on God. Yeah. Well, that's that's basically it. <laughs> you know, it's a shame to say that we, as a Christian nation, have allowed the sodomites, which I'm not trying to get yeah, here, but, yeah. but it's true. It's really sad. Yeah. And uh, as Christians, we ought to stand up for what's right. Now, I hear uh, uh, the uh, uh, all time was. Uh, when we come, will you sign a petition? Oh, yeah. They're the trying petitions. to get a petition. It's of, I think it's a 10 million signatures. Have you heard that on the radio? Is it the one where they're trying to get it to where that the judges can't take the authority that they take today? It's back to the Constitution or something mm -hmm. like that. You know, they won't, I, they won't I take, heard that. in God we trust, offer money. Yeah. You know, it, 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 it's sad. And we was reading and talking a few minutes ago about how... Uh, well, my mind is going absolutely right. But just how well, we're taking God out of everything. Yeah. You know, and He's the center of everything. 
You know, it's, it it's really shame. But anyway, folks, we're not we're not preaching. I'm, I'm going to say, no, gonna say one more thing. But you know, the, to to tell the truth, I'm sorry, but to tell the truth. Jesus is coming, and that's good news. Right. That's great news. You know, if you're not saved, it's not good news. And I'm well, going to say one thing. In the Proverbs, there's one verse that tells it like it is. It says, the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. That's. But you put that, that fool in a foxhole and bombs dropping all over. Yeah. Let's see if it, he calls for, let's see who I, he calls upon. <laughs> I have a friend that was in World War II. Somebody was talking about atheists. He said, there ain't no atheists in a foxhole. No, there's not. There's not. <laughs> But this world, you know, it's, it's getting bad. Yeah, you know, and right here it says, For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. Yeah. And that's right out of it's, the Savior's mouth. Man, you talk about the fulfilling. It it just fulfills itself each day. You can say, well, this this event fulfills something that was written, you know, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 years ago yeah. in the, in the old know, Bible. Matthew 24 it talks about how the sun, the moon, stars, yeah. the sun will go black the moon will turn red and the stars will fall. That's already happened. It's already done. Yeah. You know, there's just a couple things left that, that hasn't happened and, and you know, yeah, it's you know, here. Yeah, it is. And friends, let me tell you one thing about our show is we don't have any scripts or nothing like that. Of course, you can probably tell that. <laughs> but as the Holy Spirit leads us, that's yeah. how we talk. And folks, this has been on us for some time. And right. Either you're watching this, somebody that's watching this needs you need to know this. Yeah. And I ask you, friend, don't wait too late to pray. No. I tell you what, you're looking at three guys right here now that are planning to be in heaven. Go with us. That's right. And you know, a lot of people know me from my past. Yeah. You know, and all the things that I did in my past before I accepted Jesus Christ. And um, I tell you, it's it's. Um, it's amazing the change that's brought that Jesus has brought over me, our relationship with my yeah. family, and you know, with with friends and things. Sure. And and you know, praise God that I finally said, okay, Jesus, take over. You know, like Greyhound, I'll let you do the driving. Right. Leave the driving to Him. You know, and I know myself. I was never a bad person doing bad things, but I was going to the same hell as somebody that was doing these terrible things—a murderer. You know, someone that you know, I never done nothing bad. But because yeah. I hadn't accepted Christ as my Savior, That's right. yeah. I've went to the same. It doesn't matter who you are or what you are. There's there comes a time that you have to accept Christ as your Savior, or you don't have a Savior. That's, That's right. That's right. That's and simple. it's amazing. The Bible was laying here when we started the program, and I opened it up. And you had a pen in that spot, and I said, "Well, I wonder if Doug had the pen there for a purpose." And we got to read, talking about heaven and Jesus coming, and here we go. Here we go. We're, Reckon we better play some music now, for All right, guys. We got a group. We haven't heard from Sister Bo Cox in some oh, time. Yeah. All right. So here's Sister Bo Cox, right here on the Home Down Gospel. Ten dreams of grass so green, crushed in the footprints of the Nazarene. Sprang back and waved a message to a bird on the wing. That's him. In a mighty old river, in the noonday sun, outcast kept crying, I tell you he's the one. Voice out of heaven. Said, I'm pleased with my son. That's him. That's him. He shares rose. That's him. Our morning star that glows. He's Alpha, Omega, the beginning. And the end That's him Angry waves Splashing everywhere He's asleep in the boat Does he even care? We're all so afraid He just keeps lying there Cause that's him Then he raised 
raised his hands above his head, said, Peace be still, and the waters fled. A wave tapped the wind on the shoulder and said, Shh, that's him, that's him, that's him. There'll be two at one. That's him With one foot on the sea And one on the shore Declaring the time He will never be anymore The trumpet will sound Like never before That's him
precious Lord Take my hand Lead me home Help me stand I am tired I am weak I am worn Through the storm Through the night Lead me on To your life Take my hand Precious Lord And lead me way grows dream precious Lord linger near when my life is almost gone hear my cry hear my call hold my hand this I fall, take my hand, precious Lord, and lead me home. Take my hand, precious Lord, and lead. Granted, Jesus, tears my plea Daily walking close to thee Yeah, let it be Dear Lord, let it be I am weak, but thou art strong Jesus, keep me from all wrong. I'll be satisfied as long as I walk. Let me walk close to thee. Just a close walk with thee. Granted, Jesus. Jesus hears my plea. Oh, daily walking to thee. Yeah, let it be. Dear Lord, let it be. When my feeble life is o'er, time for me will be no more. Safely o'er to thy kingdom, kingdom sure to thy shore. Yeah, yeah, just a close walk with thee. Granted, Jesus, tears my plea. Whoa, daily walking close to thee. Let it be, dear Lord, let it be, let it be, dear Lord, let it be, dear Lord, let it be, dear Lord, let Every second Friday of the month uh, at the Seventh-day Adventist Church here in Jasper in the P Fellowship Hall, we just have a get-together. And, That's right. And, and when we go in the Fellowship Hall, we're not Adventist, we're not Baptist, we're not Methodist, we're not Church of God, we're Christians. That's right. And the, the singers there, that proves it because they come from everywhere. everywhere. And uh, we have a ball. 
and uh, they feed us. That's right. And speaking of uh, feeding, well, I guess we ought to say something better. Our, about our sponsors. About yeah, sp- yeah. sponsors. Yeah. Well, all right. We'll start off with Western Sizzling, 1130 Highway 28, Jasper, Tennessee. And, folks, home of the Flame Kiss Steak. And, folks, the number on your screen right now, please give them a call. Let them know that you appreciate them sponsoring the Hometown Gospel Hour. Flame Kissed. Flame Kissed. And you know what? My birthday is Friday. Well, at Western Ooh. Sizzling, <laughs> the day of your birthday, we take up to $8 on for your meal. All right. Yeah. yeah, I was here over the weekend for my wife's birthday. <laughs> And and Jerry dress, Jerry dresses up. And he comes in here what? like all kinds of people. With no what? false IDs and everything. <laughs> oh, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hello, yeah. Look, today's my birthday. Well, anyway, my wife was with me this time. Oh, okay, <laughs> but okay. Uh, anyway, well, we we got some more sponsors too, right. and uh, of course, one of them is uh, Rogers Funeral Home. They have the the two locations, one in Jasper and one in South Pittsburgh. Good people. And they are mighty fine people. I've been knowing these folks for years and years. Uh, I think I've already said it on the air that uh, that they did the uh, services when my mother and my dad passed away, and uh, uh, I mean we were just well pleased, and uh, we've had a lot of dealings with Rogers. They're good folks, and uh, so if you uh, you've got the number on the screen now, all right, right. in the location. Yeah, so he, he, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, and the care that they take. Is oh just, yes, I know when that when your sister passed away. Yeah, my sister was was. I they, mean, I was so this. impressed the way that the Jim and his family, his family, his right, family, how they, yeah. how they handled everything and done the arrangements. And, yeah, I, and uh, I left that. I left that out. I, I said my mother and my dad, and now one of my sisters. They've had the yeah. services. And so, folks, in the time of need, give Rogers a call. The number on the screen. They'll take good care of your family, and it's they good. will. It's good to they have will. have people like that. They will. And Marion Lumber, South Pittsburgh. Tennessee. What do they rent? They rent anything from a shovel to a bobcat <laughs> to a chainsaw to a weed eater. Hammer and nail. I have, you know, I, I've seen you, you their, do that their rental yeah. department, and it's it's awesome. I mean, it's, it's they got plenty of stuff. You know, air compressors, nailers, and, and just anything that a woman could make a man really work with that stuff at home. <laughs> I tell you. So, that, ladies, if you need, if your husband says I don't have it. He don't have it. I better be quiet. I'll be in trouble. If Judy's going to say, hey, Danny. If he says, uh, you know, I don't I don't have a bobcat and don't know anybody that does. <laughs> she says, yes, you do, do. Marion Lumber, right yeah. there on 3rd Street in South Pittsburgh. And, yeah. And there's the number right there. And, so, and uh, Yeah, and folks, give, them, give our sponsors a call. Yeah. Once again, Western Sizzling and a Rogers Funeral Home and uh, Marion Lumber. Lumber Company. <laughs> give them a call right here. And uh, That's right. Just say, hey, we appreciate you sponsoring the Home right. Gospel Hour. Yeah, and Marion Lumber keeps all their lumber in the dry, and, you know, that makes a big difference to a carpenter. And I, and I do that kind of work. And, you know, when your roofing yeah. has been left in the dry, when you get it out through the shingles and you don't have water pouring off of them and yeah. stuck together from the out sun. Out in the sun, yeah. I've, I've had lumber. some like that. It makes a big difference. Yeah. So, you know, all your so, rental needs, you know, there's they got everything you need to build a house, a mansion, or, you know. I tell you, we have a good mansion. Oh boy, we have a good array of sponsors. I was just thinking for just about anything that you're going to need. You, yeah, when you're hungry, we have the Western Sizzling. We when you have, <laughs> when you have a, a death, Mary Lumber supplied lumber to build a coffin, <laughs> <laughs> and we'll provide the chicken for the funeral. There you have go. You, you built do, one. <laughs> you're a carpenter. <laughs> do the do the catering service there. Yeah. So, oh, Western Sizzling, we'll fry you chicken. Rogers will take care of you. And you reckon that fell over and things were kind of nutty over there? He probably does. Nah, he don't care. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, we got a great song that we haven't heard from the ages in some time. That's true. Good deal. I love those people. Yeah, so we're going to play Spiritual Birthday right here yeah. on your hometown gospel. Right. Hour. <laughs> now I know you've all got to be wondering what in the world has happened to me. There's a big silly grin all over my face because I'm as happy as can be. Well, there's a pep in my step, a twinkle in my eye. My home address is on cloud 99. Folks say, how you doing? I tell them just fine. I'm smiling now all of the time. Well, 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 well. I'm having a spiritual birthday, and I want the whole world to know. I'm a brand new man. I've been born again in the family of the Lord. In the family of the Lord. I'm having a spiritual birthday, celebrating in a real big way. 
on a spiritual birthday. Some have asked me, where's the old man? I haven't seen him for many a week. My guess he's probably got lost to sea, maybe buried seven miles deep. So blow out the candles, turn up the lights, strike up the band. Hey, I've got a right and I'll be celebrating all day and all night. Baby, taking a heavenly flight. Well, 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 I'm having a spiritual birthday and I want the whole world to know. I'm a brand new man, I've been born again in the family of the Lord. I'm having a spiritual birthday, celebrating in a real big way. Hey, say Jesus made me a new creature, don't you see? I'm having a spiritual birthday. Well, 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 Jesus made me a new creature, don't you see? I'm having a spiritual birthday. God did answer and say, my grace is sufficient. Grace for you, grace for you, grace for me, grace for me, grace for all, grace for all who has a need. And never in his supply is what we need. Grace for you and grace for all who will believe. Love and mercy and amazing grace. Grace for you, grace for you, grace for me, grace for me, grace for all, grace for all who has a need. And never in his supply is what we need. Grace for you and grace for all who will be me. Grace for you, grace for you, grace for me, grace for me. Grace for you and grace for all who will be me. Well, Jesus died, Jesus died upon the tree. Upon the tree, He gave His life. He gave His life at Calvary. At, at Calvary, that's amazing grace. And that's amazing grace. That's amazing grace. And that's amazing grace. Said amazing grace. Said amazing grace. The never any supply is what we need. Grace for you and grace for all who will believe. Grace for you and grace for all who will believe. I traveled a
We're missing one. Yeah, uh, I don't. We, I don't think he's went on, has he? <laughs> I don't think so. He, if he did, he he left. Uh, I don't know what that is. He left. <laughs> well, we're we're here at Western yeah. Sizzling. Doug's happened to run out to check some things, and uh, but we're going to continue on with uh, a good spiritual program, I think. And and yeah. Brother Jerry's going to read um, about Jesus and how he talks about in right. my Father's house. Yeah. So uh, go ahead. All right, we decided uh, while the music was playing there a while ago, we decided that we would go to to the Gospel of John chapter 14. We're going to read about, oh, six or seven, seven verses, I guess. So the reading is John chapter 14. This is Jesus Christ talking. He says, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also, and whither I go, you know, and the way ye know. And Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we, not, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also, and from henceforth ye know him and have seen him. I like that, that. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I like that's it. You know, good. It talks about in my Father's house are many mansions. You know, yeah. the house has got to be heaven. And, right. You know, and it's, it's um, how many? It's 300 and heaven is four square, Ooh. 300 and something yeah. miles each, each it's, way. And it's, it's up east, west, north, south. Up, down, it's it's uh, yeah, square. and you know people say, Portion. well, that's not enough room for all the saved to be there. But you know what? Who says that heaven's one story? That's right. Who says your mansion's not going to be? You might be uh, on the fiftieth floor. That's right. <laughs> and I tell you, I had a man one time to give me an interesting slant on that. He said, you know what? People talk about heaven maybe not being up big enough to hold that many people. He said, who says we have to be the size that we are now? You know? He said, we may be this high. You know, yeah. And we don't know. I mean, That's right. you know, in God's and and to His uh, well, and, he, and and when you think of the awesomeness of God, you know, we could be the universe that's under His little finger, under sure. His little fingernail, absolutely. Because I believe that universes that we have no, we cannot even fathom no. what's out there. No, I uh, have not seen, ear have not heard. That's right. It's not even entered into the mind. Of that's the right. Of what God has prepared for us. <laughs> that's right. And yeah. and uh, He said uh, in this reading here. If I go to prepare that place, then I will come back. I will come and get you. He's coming. And uh, so that is that is a fact. That's not anybody's opinion or anything. It's right there in, you know, in this case, red letter, the boy, the words of Christ. You know, it's, and, it's, it's just, uh, I don't know. It's, it's, it's awesome. <laughs> it's taking too long. You know, uh, somebody, somebody bringing it down into just practical terms said, you know, Said God made this whole world in seven days, with well, six days, and rested on the seventh. And said, think about it. Jesus Christ has been gone back nearly that two thousand years to prepare. Said, man, what is He preparing for us now? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, so, I see what you're saying. Yeah, that's uh, that's what the man said. If it if it only took seven days for the world, what about this two thousand? And he said, I go to prepare a place. Yep. May but. Actually, all he has to do to prepare for us is just to be there. <laughs> That's right. You know, he says he is at the right hand of the Father, and, and he is our high priest. Absolutely. And he is pleading our cases, you know, in, in judgment when you go before the Father. Thank Jesus that when my time comes, if I'm right with him, 
Jesus will step in and say, this one's covered under the blood. Right. And we don't and, have to worry about it. We, it doesn't matter, you know. Jesus is right and, there to, to, to take up for us. And, <laughs> you know, uh, people feel uh, a lot of times they say, well, I'm not worthy for the Lord to save me or I'm not worthy to ask the Lord. But he said, come before the throne of God boldly. That's right. You know, That's right. <laughs> come to me boldly. That's right. In other words, like I'm supposed to be here. That's and, right. And we're we part of it. That's right. We are. We better hush. We, we better get some music that, on here. Doug's gonna. <laughs> we're gonna be in trouble. And, yeah, Doug's. And, um, uh, Doug's supposed to be off from work, but see, they called him back in, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> he'll be back in a minute. And you know what? Doug's not here, but the old boy's finally getting married. He is. <laughs> he is. Hook, and he, and, line, and, and, and sinker. <laughs> and he is one proud fella. He too. sure and, is, you know, and he's. And, he's and, he's a good uh, Christian boy, I tell he you. He is. I really like him. And, and, uh, and I know, I know his future wife, and she's she's sweet as she can be. That's so. right. And he'll probably edit that out. You know. He may do it, but so if we tell the truth, Doug, <laughs> but you want me to really tell the truth about you? No. All right. That's let's good. go into some more That's music right. here. Let's some right. Good music. All right. If I get there before you do, I'll be.
say I didn't get to uh, to be a part of the, the reading and the Lord laid something on my heart I want to read really quick and right. as a matter of fact we've actually of course we pre-recorded everything and we actually pre-recorded and I had to get up and leave and uh, but I still feel like we need to redo it because I feel like the Lord wanted me to read this I want to read this out of Ezekiel 20 uh, Ezekiel 36 and 26 Ready to write. Go ahead. And a new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you, and cause you to walk in my statutes. And you shall keep my judgments, and do them. The Lord, He can clean you up. No matter what kind of life you're in, He can clean you up. And the funny thing about this, Doug, when you left, that's pretty cool how we ended the show, wasn't it? It was. We pretty much along those lines. Heart to Jesus today. Yeah. So I was accepted time. So you, you just got back in in time then to, to wind it down. <laughs> so are we? Are we completely out of time then? We're out of time. All right. Uh, should we mention our sponsors one more time? Western Sizzlin, Highway 28, Jasper, Tennessee, your home of Flamingo State. Rogers Funeral Homes, uh, Jasper and South Pittsburgh Chapels. Very lumber. Fellas, I got everything that you need. A hammer to a bobcat. A hammer to a bobcat. Hammer to a bobcat. Folks, let's see if you get some right. This is Brother Jerry Colston, and I'm just going to say it as always. If I don't meet you again on the air, I hope to meet you in there. And until we do meet again, good night. God bless you. And I'm Brother Danny Sherry. Remember, today is the day of salvation. Come to Jesus just the way you are. He will accept you no matter what. Don't wait too long. This is Brother Doug Chris. Pray for us and we'll pray for you. And folks, please, don't wait too late. Amen. Don't wait too long. It's fixing to happen. Good night. Bye.